Good morning. I am the Orange Jedi, and welcome back to Hollow Knight. Let's get going. Alright. Now, today, we've got... Well, we're, we're heading towards the end of this game here. But we're going to do our best to get as far as we can today towards the ending. Um, but... If you remember last time, I mentioned that really all that's left is just a bunch of boss fights. And more specifically, it's time to go and fight all of the dream versions of bosses that we've already fought. Okay, can you guys um, just go away? Oh, get me out of here. <laughs> okay. Can you guys teleport away, please? Thank you. Get me out of here. <laughs> um, so the first one that we're going to go for is, um, I believe he's called the Soul Tyrant. And so it's a version of this boss right here. I think we take Soul in with us. But you'll see that we've got some dream essence around this guy. So if we dream nail him, then... We essentially just fight a version of him that has more health and is twice as fast. <laughs> okay, very quick in here. Here we go. Yep, Soul Tyrant. Oh, okay. Ah. Oh boy, I have to relearn how this fight works. It's been a long time. There we go. Oh, he went... Okay. He's doing that one. Dang it. Oops. That's my fault. Oh, oh dang it. Oh, hoo -hoo. I tried to dash. I, I think we all kind of knew that was going to happen. Okay. Alright, let's, let's do some dodges, get some soul back. Oops. I thought he was still doing his last attack. He, he does the fake out a lot more often. Ah. Okay, good. This is good. We can heal and get a hit off. I think he also just is staggered for not as long. I could have gotten that. Okay. Let's heal this up. This is good. We're doing okay. For how long does he do that attack? Okay. We're still good. As long as we're not taking damage, we're just fine. Oh, I didn't realize what he was doing. Okay, we can heal up here. And we're back to full health. This is this is really good. Ah, uh, my bad. Let's get some damage. Okay, I don't have enough to heal. Oh. Really good. Oh, I thought he was still doing the same attack. Can I get over? Dang it, I was hoping to heal before we start this. Got him. 
Yes! First try! Yes! Ah, oh, thank goodness. In my dreams, I could see it. The kingdom's salvation, the cure for the plague, the answer was in the soul that animates our bodies. But the king, why? He opposed everything I did. His jealousy, his madness. By standing against me, he robbed me of my immortality. Now the king and his kingdom are dead, but I will live forever. Ooh, 300 essence for that fight. I think that you get the most essence at a time by fighting these upgraded regular bosses. Oh, we one-shot him now. When we were first here, I'm pretty sure that it took two hits for each of these guys. Okay. I'm just trying to leave. What's the quickest way just out of here? <laughs> oh, boy. Okay. Can we talk about this? I just did a pretty awesome, like, harsh fight. Can, can I just leave now? <laughs> okay. That should be enough to get us back to our bench, and then we'll be safe. Okay. And out this way, I believe. Okay, we're back, we're back up here. Oh, I need the... I need it to be up here. Because for some reason, everyone likes to put spikes on top of their elevators. Alright. And then our, our safety bench is right in here. Okay, that was... I'm pretty happy with that fight. That went well. Especially after, you know, lately, I've kind of been struggling with the boss fight, so that's that's good. Okay, um, we're going to keep the charm setup that we have, and now we'll just, we'll just head on over to the next one, really. I think there's four of them that I want to hit here, so that was one. here. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Let's keep going. Here we are. Something that is kind of nice about these boss fights, you know, because they are pretty hard, um, if you do die in the middle of them, you just spawn, like, right, um, right outside of the dream. So you don't actually have to worry about ever really being in danger. Um, which actually reminds me. Here I am going for this bench, and I'm literally explaining why there's no need to worry about going for a bench. So, okay. What is the fastest way to get over there? I think... We can go down if we drop this way, and then over here. Right? Yeah, right here. This is what we want. And... This way, right? Yep. So you might notice we are heading back to our good friend, the Dung Defender. Now, unfortunately, wearing his Defender's Crest doesn't um, help us at all, even though it would be pretty funny if it did. But Even though there's no shaky ground right here, you can still... Um, desolate dive down here. There's a king's idol with a dung statue of the king. And then on the left, 
we find a sleeping dung defender, and in the background we see um, statues that he's constructed of the five knights of Hollowness, and he's this one right here. And the false knight is in the shape of this guy right here. Um, and then these three, very interesting. So, so the the statue right here seems to be of the woman at the very far right of the resting grounds, who asked to um, give us a gift, and we'll be going and doing that one pretty soon. And then one of these two is going to be Isma, and the other one is going to be the one that lays right outside of the White Lady's tree. So it's pretty cool that we actually kind of get to encounter all five of the knights somewhere through this playthrough, except um, this knight right here, his armor was taken over by essentially a grub. We don't actually know where this guy is. Alright, let's see how we fare. Oh, wow. Okay, so the fight's in there. But this... this is very pretty. White Defender. Okay. Okay, so he still does that. There's three balls now. Oh, that's new. Okay. Oops, I meant to pogo that. Oh, you can pogo the balls. I think I might perish. Anyone else would kind of wish that I had more health than I do? Oh. He backstepped. Oh, he's got to be close, right? going on here dang it Oof. we did a lot of damage though we must have been close but that's all right we keep all of our geo and we're right here so we, we can just go right back in and try again the only unfortunate thing is that we are starting back at zero soul now but that's okay because now I know his attack pattern is a lot better now. Okay. Oops. Oops. Oh. Oh, I was trying to wall jump first. I can heal here. Oh. Was that just an unlucky bounce that he got there? Or does he always just bounce directly at you? Okay, you know, we're gonna we're gonna try and go here. Not just throw this away. I think I'm I'm i I'm kinda throwing it away though. I always expect him to do that swimming thing more than once, but he's only doing it once right now. Oh, his his swing kind of hit me. Oh. Well, he's he's definitely harder than last time. We can say that for sure.
Oops. I think that you can kind of, um, what's it called, like, juggle him for a bit there. Oops. Okay, okay. Oops. I think I'm okay still. Oh. Okay. Oh. I've got to remember that happens. Oh. Let's get in that damage. Okay. actually dodged it that time. We did not dodge that, though. Yes! We got him. Friends, I will protect our dear kingdom. Have faith in me. We will all meet again, I promise it. Alright, now you can fight him multiple times. Every time that you fight him, he's stronger than the last. Um, but I think this is the only time that you actually get essence from the fight. Um, I, th I think that in terms of getting stronger, he just deals more damage to you now <laughs> than before. Okay, um, uh, this is actually perfect. Yeah, let's, let's go back up to the City of Tears now, because now what we want is a tram station. Alright, so that is two of the Dream Warriors. Done and dusted. Alright. Not so bad. I'd say we did pretty well there. I mean, one-shotting one of them is pretty good. And then... Uh, White Defender can be pretty gruesome. Um... It just takes a couple tries to kind of notice what his attack patterns are. Map updated. What did what did we do to update our map exactly? Oh, there's a little there's a little section there for the white defenders cove. Okay. Next, oh, get our trusty steed back. Now we go back to the hidden station. Thanks for the ride, Stag. Alright. Now, I did point out this um, dream fight while we were here, so we're going back to the ancient basin boss fight, which was right over here. And I think we're free. It's just crystal. Oh no, we gotta go up here first. There we go. And one important reason why I really did not want to do this dream fight while we were here is because this um, this boss spawns 
um, enemies during the fight. And we only had upgraded our nail, I think, twice when we were here last time. We've upgraded it two more times since then. Um, and so the extra enemies that this boss spawns during the fight, I think we can one-shot now, which just makes them way easier to deal with. Okay. Now, I would prefer not to have to do this parkouring in between every single fight, so maybe we can find a way to kind of skip it. I think it's just down here. Yeah, there we go. Lost Kin. Yes, we do. We one-shot them now. Which is really good. We're gonna heal once. And then hit him. I was trying to pogo him, honestly. Ooh. Okay, this is fine. Oops. What am I doing? Is he dealing double damage to me, or am I just this bad? <laughs> Alright. Well... I don't think that this fight is actually as hard as I'm making it out to seem right now. I think that I'm just kind of messing up um, by trying to deal too much damage. Alright, that's good. We like to see that. Oh, I didn't see that one spawn. I really do feel as though these guys spawning are the real hard part about this fight. You can kind of take care of this guy. Oh man, I'm just trying to outrun the blobs. Can we get two heals? No. Again, it's those blobs. Like, they... Oh, no. Okay. Well, the contact damage from him isn't two masks. I missed! Dang it. I was doing pretty good at dodging there towards the end, but it would be nice if I just didn't get hit five times before I started dodging. <laughs> okay, now at least we can kind of skip all of the build-up just by jumping down here and then in. That's not, that's not bad. Alright. Oh, I didn't know he could actually do that attack first thing. Oh. Oh. The fireball hit him twice, so it took him out of the stagger right away. Ah. Heal. I got two. Oh my gosh. The predictions on this guy. Yeah, let's just go for- oh. Oh man. I hit the fireball in the wrong direction again. I think it would have slid him over. I've got... Why am I doing that? I've done that like three times today now. That's really not going to help me out here. Alright. Alright, right here and down. Okay. 
Oops. I meant to jump there, not dash. Alright, we actually got him down. Not sure why. Didn't feel as though we hit him that much. Okay, let's get the heal. We got full health, this is good. Alright, we got him knocked down again. Got the damage. It is a fourth time now today that I've just thrown the fireball in the wrong direction. Alright, give me that good, good damage. Come on, yo. Uh, dude, it's like the further away you are for that attack, the harder it is to dodge it. We got it. Okay. Let's, uh, let's be careful trying to get back now. <laughs> okay, we get a heal. Thank goodness. Whew. Oh boy, that was a good fight, though. That was good. Alright, now we get to... Don't worry, we don't need that bench. We'll be fine. We're just going all the way back to the stag station. Okay, that is three down. One more to go. Now, I'm actually not going to go over to the fourth one now. Um, instead, we're going to go and get our final mask shard. Because... We, we, we found all the soul vessels we can, and honestly, like, the only possible upgrade that we could get at this point is just having one more hit of health. And we're... we're gonna go for it now. It's... it's a tough side quest. But we're gonna do our best, and to do it, we have to go back to resting grounds. farther this way, right? Have I gone too far? Oh, I think I've gone too far. Right? Yeah, I'm trying to, I'm trying to get up there. I just went too far over to the right. It's okay, though. We, we needed the soul anyways. We really did. Oh no, dude, what am I doing? Okay. Now where's the way? Here we go. This is what we want. Okay, and so what we're gonna do is we're gonna place... Um, what is it? Here we go. So I haven't used the Dream Gate at all yet, but it does give you a little bit of a, of a teleportation ability. So I've placed down a Dream Gate. I can now teleport back here from anywhere, and you can do this almost everywhere in the game. Um, and we're gonna need some new charms. Okay. We need this. How much is Grubber Fly's Elegy? It's three. 
I'm thinking we probably take off Shaman Stone for this. And we can put on Grubberfly's Elegy and we'll be good to go. So Grubberfly's Elegy gives us these beams. And because we're holding Mark of Pride, the beams are bigger and go farther. And because we're holding Quick Slash, we can throw out them more often. And um, the damage that they deal is a percentage of our nail damage. So we're going to start the Delicate Flower side quest here. Mehon, does the heart beat a moment? Share pain of grief and hope to soothe it? Would you convey Shay's final gift unto her lover's grave? Accept the gift, yes. Delicate flower. Rare boon you grant la mer. It will be Shay's last request. After this, never shall Shay lay burden on another. A sacred flower is the offering. It is a rare, delicate object, one of a kind. You must cherish it. Must act as though you were, it were your own heart. If you were to get hurt whilst carrying it, or did to attempt ride those jolting transit beasts, it would forever be destroyed. Her grave lies in the middle of the queen's overgrown estate. It is surrounded by her kind, who will not look kindly on your trespass. Take care, Lemaire. My hopes, a place upon you. My hopes I place upon you, and my fervent wish that this small solace may come to pass. Do you dream? Ol Nemeno Nails and Claws Why must it be so? Okay, so long story short, if we take even the smallest bit of damage, the delicate flower is destroyed. And we can't take stag stations. And we have to take this flower all the way over to the Queen's Gardens. And I know where to take it. And it's not easy to get there. If you can see, it's, it's a very small room right in the middle of the Queen's Gardens. Now, we do have a path that we're going to take. But the Queen's Gardens also has, like, a little bit of platforming. And so sometimes it can just be annoying. Now we're going to do our best to just avoid everything that we can. Use our instincts, right? We got perfect instincts. Alright, I got to remember the best way to get there. Now we, we do want to go to the blue lake. There's... Um... We'll be fine. You know what? Okay, I don't actually need to go through this room, but it's so early that I think we'll be just fine. Alright, I really just need to dodge that flying guy as long as I get out of here before he catches up with me. It's like he's not even there. Okay. Oh, Quirrell! To live an age, yet remember so little. Perhaps I should be thankful. All tragedy erased, I only I see only wonders. Go on, Amane, Again we meet, my short friends. Here at last, I feel at peace. Twice I've seen this world, and though my service may have stripped the first experience from me, I'm thankful I could witness its beauty again. Hollow Nest is a vast and wondrous thing. But with as many wonders as it holds, I've seen none quite so intriguing as you. Ha! My flattery returns only silent stoicism. I like that. I like that very much. Incredible. Nice to see you, Coral. Okay. Thanks to the Blue Lake, we're, we're practically halfway there already. Alright, this will be easy. Now you can access this quest before the crossroads become infected, which, you know, obviously makes this a lot easier. We're hoping to just destroy everything before they aggro us. Okay. 
Okay, now we want to go all the way left and into the Fog Canyon. Stay over there. Okay. Good so far. Now, another good thing to note is that pretty much every time that we attempt this, it does get easier because the, um, well, not all of them, but many of the bugs and enemies that we're destroying here um, don't respawn until we bench, so we're just not going to bench. Okay, I wanted to hit him to get a soul gauge, um, because the Grubberfly's Elegy only gives us these white beams while we have full health. And just in case I take damage, I do want to have the soul in order to get it back before we, well, try again. And how are we doing? Alright, we're still going the right way. Um... Alright, just, just out of reach of that explosion. It's fine. Everything's going great. Okay, so we want to go left and then up. Alright. We're good. There's another one. Oh. I do not need to get hit by a spike right now. And we're going up this way. This room doesn't have any... No! And just like that, the flower is destroyed. Okay. So what we're gonna do real quick is we're just gonna go through... We can, we can do this quickly now. We're just gonna go through and defeat all of these enemies that might give us trouble. Any and all enemies that might give us trouble, we're just going to go through real quick. I'll also be able to show you guys the end area, where we're shooting for. Alright, we can get down here pretty easily. Oh, there's a guy right there. Um, what is the way through? So we want to make it to the Queen's Gardens. I think the safest way through is to go down to the teacher's archives. So just drop all the way down to the bottom of this room. The little jellyfish will respawn, and none of the big jellyfish are in a spot where they're going to hurt us. So we're good to go here. All these guys will respawn, but we've got... Uh-oh. That's okay. He won't respawn next time. Yeah, that was on purpose. We're good. Okay. Empty room. We like empty rooms. Okay. And now... Yeah, I think we just want to go the normal way by going down here now. And in here. And this is good. This is good that the way is clear. And now, mainly I just want to clear the room of these next enemies here. There we go. And we'll get some soul from them. I think those guys respawn, but that's fine. These guys I can take damage from sometimes, so we're gonna get rid of them. Oops. Heal that back. We're good to go. And then we just go left. Okay, we're really close. There is an enemy just inside this room here. Okay. Now we gotta make sure that we don't take damage from him next time. And then we're pretty much here. I think that that's literally it. Because it's just inside here. 
And then, of course, just because these game creators love you so much, they give you just a little bit of platforming at the end, so that way if you're stressed out about it, you can mess it up. And this is where we're trying to take it. So now we can go ahead and teleport back. And, um... She's not going to be happy with us that we lost her flower, but she can make an endless supply of them, so it's fine. Oh, why? She's sacred, precious, one of its kind flower, ruined. She's love, denied her final gift. Such suffering for She, such misery. She thought she could bear no more. I suppose She does have one more flower, though. But La Mer, this one is equally sacred and equally fragile. Wherest one to accept such quest, it must become Mel Precious Heart. Would such a thing be again be tried? Don't worry, Grey Mourner. I'll, 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 do, I'll get it this time. Then this new sacred, one of its kind, flower Shea shall give you. As Shea warned before, it does become precious as one's heart whilst held. If you were to get hurt again whilst carrying it, or did to attempt ride those jolting transit beasts, this one too shall be destroyed. Though my faith in one has been challenged, my hopes are still with you, La Mer. Um, another thing to note is that um, there are actually multiple recipients of this delicate flower. Um, the only one that the Grey Mourner cares about is that you give it to... Um, is this the way up here? Yeah, this is actually way safer if I go up here. The only one that, that she cares about is that you give it to this gravestone. But you can give it to Elderbug. Um, if you make your way up there. In one of the DLCs, you can give it to... Um, I, think, I think he's a god seeker. He or she is a god seeker. And... I think there's one more that I'm forgetting, but right now we just we just want to make sure that we get it over here. And Quirrell is gone. It's kind of been left open for us to interpret what happened to Quirrell, but considering he left his sword, I think it's fair to assume that he's... Disappeared like Yoda, really. Okay. Now, I'm not sure if all of these enemies are gone now. But most of them don't respawn. So we mainly just have to worry about platforming now. Hold on, where am I going? Yep, I do want to go up here. Okay, so those little guys are respawning, which is fine. I'm sure that by the end of this, I'm going to have attempted this so many times that I've got this whole route memorized and I don't have to keep checking the map. You know, <laughs> unfortunately. I don't remember how many times it took me to do this on my first playthrough, but I remember making it to the end where all you have left to do is just jump across those spikes like three times, and I messed it up so many times. And and for the record, um, it, it does break the flower if you use the dream gate teleportation thing. That does break it, so you can't do that. Does this guy respawn? No. Alright, that's good. Okay. Luckily, not even the delicate flower can get hurt from fall damage. Okay.
And we can just swim over. Alright, that was good. Now we've made it to the archives. Good, and that big jellyfish that got us last time didn't respawn. Okay, now we just go in a little bit down and to the left. Ooh, that jellyfish kind of gave me a haircut right there. And then it's right in here. And we're just going to swim. We're not going to try any funny business around these spikes. Okay, we're so close. We've made it to the Queen's Gardens. Now the flying bugs respawn, but the guys on the ground don't, so we can just kind of move along. Okay, now this flying guy is here. He respawns, I'm pretty sure. Or not? Oh, he doesn't! Okay. I'm not taking any chances, yo. Okay. Okay. All that's left is these little jumps right here. Okay, we did it. Oh, we did it. How cute. Does this say anything else? No. Still the traitor's child. So, one of the Pale King's knights had a relationship with the traitor lord's child. Um, and the traitor lord is a traitor because he was kicked out of the Mantis village along with his group of people. Alright. Awesome! And then we go ahead and come in here. And we get our reward. Me? Lemaire, you have done this thing. Is it possible? This world's cruelty. I thought it overwhelming, but Lemaire, such great compassion that Shay's love would know her partner's e heart even aeon past. Is it that, Lemaire? Such grief can end? Shay can end? Oh, uh, uh, nigh, dear love. Shay too can end. And there we have it, the final health upgrade. Alright. Next. Alright, let's see if we can get the last dream boss that we have left to do before we finish up this episode. That would be nice. That was my goal today. I think that we've done okay. Only, only two attempts on the delicate flower. Um, we first tried Soul Tyrant, only a couple tries on the, um, Lost Kin. We're doing well. So let's get going. Okay, we do need to put our charms back. We need, we need Shaman Stone. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and take off the Wayward Compass for this. I'm thinking Grub Song again, because I'll be honest, I kind of expect to get hit a few times. Alright, let's do this thing. Oops. Get away from me. Alright. Here, can I just go up over here? Yeah. So the last fight that we have here, oh wow, I just completely whipped that. The sheer velocity on these guys. Uh oh, just gotta dodge those guys. Alright, so the last one, 
is a dream version of our good friend the false knight. Uh, before we go in, is there anything up here? Bunch of geo. Bunch of geo. No, there's nothing else up here. Okay. Just making sure. I haven't been up here in a while. we go. Okay, now what is the way over to this guy? Okay, there's a platform here, and we go back and forth, another platform here. Okay, so it's just kind of in the general, like, way down to the... Dang it! <laughs> if you mess up the platforming to the boss, it just respawns you outside. It's... <laughs> Uh-oh. No! I'm just trying to get over there faster so I can start the fight, please. Is that too much to ask? There's one platform. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, I, okay, I think it takes you all the way around the bottom, but we can just enter in here. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, no. How many hits does it take to stagger him? Seriously, I've hit him so many times. Now, something to take note of is that... So you only get to deal actual damage to him when he's staggered. And also, in this new version of the fight, um, you don't gain soul for hitting him. Okay. Feels like my nail is just too short. Okay, that was good. Oh, wow, right on top of my head. And we do gotta get over here fast enough. Okay, this is fine. We're doing good? We are, we're doing good. Oh! I wasn't ready for that, I'll admit it. Alright, last health. Oh, he jumped the spell! Okay. We're starting to run low on time for today, so I've gotta... I've gotta get this eventually. What if I just... Crystal dash to the left. Okay. That's way better. Oh, okay. Oh, my goodness. Alright, that was that was fine. Uh, let me see if I can Oh I can't. Dang it. Okay, there's just in general not a lot of soul to work with with this fight, huh? I th I think that we're just gonna go with go with the plan of never healing. I think I think that's gonna be the plan. We're just not gonna heal. Okay, he's in the middle again. Oh. Okay, this is fine. This is fine. We're, we're good. Let's heal twice. Oh, I can't. Okay. Heal again. Alright, good.
Did we do it? Yes, we did it. All right. I wanted it. The strength to protect the others. When I saw that knight sleeping, safe in his big armored shell. It wasn't madness that drove me to it. I just wanted it. But in the end, if strength cannot save you, then what can? All four of the dream bosses all in one day. That's good. Alright, now let's just go ahead and make our way back to the um, station. Let's get somewhere safe. Okay. <laughs> and, um... Alright, right before we finish up this video, there's actually one more thing that I just want to go and check out um, since we have a couple minutes here, because I forgot that I wasn't able to show you guys earlier, but um, now we're good to go. This is actually the first time we're back in Dirtmouth in a while. Alright, nothing new from Elderbug. Great Prince, so dark, so troubled. But that's not the only danger I had to overcome in my quest for glory. You've noticed this trophy, haven't you? A keepsake from my final triumphant battle deep in the pit below us. Yes, Life Ender claimed another victim, and the crowd erupted into ecstatic cheering. Cheering that was both loud and utterly sincere. To what do I owe my long string of triumphs and victories, you ask? As I said earlier, the king to my to my personal philosophy, the 57 precepts of Zot. Particularly relevant here is the first precept. Always win your battles. As for the other 56 precepts, well... And you can continue to keep reading and he'll go through them. Precept 2. Never let them laugh at you. Fools laugh at everything, even at their superiors. But beware, laughter isn't harmless. Laughter spreads like a disease, and soon everyone is laughing at you. You need to strike at the source of this perverse merriment quickly to stop, merriment quickly to stop it from spreading. Alright. We're also going to check over here. Um, I want to show you guys what's in here, real quick. So in here, we haven't had to use this, but we have a friend in here. Do you, do you have dreams? How long I must have slept, this land is so much darker now, so thick with the stains of regret. Even the air is murkier. If I sleep again, will the darkness creep in here and swallow me whole? Welcome, small intruder. I've been sound asleep in here for some time. Some time. Ah, yes, yes. Well, now you've gone and woken me up. It's no matter, I suppose. I might even be able to help you. I am Gigi. Confessor Gigi. And if you have found your way into my chamber, you must need my help. You see, sometimes we leave our regrets behind in the world like black stains. If we don't deal with these regrets, hope starts to drain from us. Do you have any regrets of your own, little one? Let me peer into you for a moment. Ah, you don't appear to have any lingering regrets. How lucky for you. You don't need the services of one such as I. So, Gigi is able to pull your shade from anywhere, and then you can fight it there. So if it's somewhere that you can't reach, then you can get it there. All right, folks, that is all the time that we have for today. Thank you so much for going on this journey with me. Good night.